Hi, this is a new Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this one I want to show you how to add a UMG canvas when the game starts. Let's use the project with the light switch here and add a UI widget, a widget blueprint and let's call this HUD widget. Okay, and then open this and it starts with a canvas panel and I will add a second canvas panel to it and drag this here to the center like so and add the anchors to it so that it is scaled when the size changes and then I will add an image to this canvas panel. Also set the anchors and remove all the offsets to make it match its parent size. And I created this image here with Photoshop and I drag it to my project folder here to the image folder of my project. And I will use this as a background for the image component I just created in my widget blueprint. It will be a background for a message panel that is shown to the player dynamically, but this will be covered in a next tutorial. In this one I just want to show you how to add this whole widget to the viewport when the game starts. Okay, what else do we need? We need a text to display a message. And I add this here also to this canvas panel to the center. Then I will align it Okay, like that. And then let's compile it and open the first person character blueprint. And in the event begin play, we're going to create this widget. This is when the game starts. This HUD overlay will be created by create widget and we have to define the class which is HUD widget and we also have to get the player controller to assign it here to the owning player slot. Okay, now it is created but we have to add it to the viewport. Very simple. Just drag this out here and choose add to viewport. Connect the result of the create widget method to the target. Okay, and now we can press play. And here you can see the widget permanently added to the viewport. But we can improve this background image just a little bit. Let's open the widget blueprint again. Select the image. And then let's decrease the opacity. Okay, and now start the game again. And this should look really cool with this opacity lowered. Yeah, really nice. Okay, this was a very fast tutorial. In the next one, I will show you how to display this message box dynamically and how to parameterize the text of the message. So if you like this tutorial and my channel, please subscribe and it would also be amazing if you could support me on my Patreon, where you can download my 3D models and game projects. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.